with each and different country that we have different practices and different ways to do stuff and how we carry ourselves while we do our jobs. And I think this is a great learning opportunity for everybody because there will be takeaways from no matter how we do things or how they do things. So like, let's say a two-man job for us is a one-man job for us. We can learn that to make more effective ways, get maintenance done quicker, safer, and then show them how we do maintenance. And if they like it, they will learn how to do quicker, safer maintenance. It was, joining the Air Force was probably like one of the best decisions I've made in my life. Getting out, learning something new, coming fresh out of high school, not knowing nothing, uh, develop my professional skills, learning how to be a leader, and then they just trusted me with the multi-million aircraft. And they're like, here, this is your baby, this is your aircraft, hone it, learn your skills, sharpen your knife, get it done, safe, put up safe air power, safe jets, because there's a guy in there, or a woman, and that will, has a family and will need to come back. Each and every one of airframes have their own way of doing things, and us as F-16 maintainers uh, in the fighter world, we're very busy. We work long hours, which is all part of the job. We do steady maintenance. Shaw Air Force Base, the Tigers, uh, not to toot our own horn, but is the best F-16 <laughs> uh, unit in the Air Force. So we generate the most fighters with the most time and the less, and the less people. So I feel like us coming here is a big opportunity to show them that you don't need a lot of people, you don't need a lot of tools, and we can get the job done just as efficient as if another unit was to come with more stuff or less stuff. We're just here to prove a point that we can do it no matter what, and we'll get the mission done. So I know they are very professional, and I look forward to learning how they do things. Uh, for example, like let's say uh, how they marshal their jets, how they rapidly turn a jet that needs to go up in the air as soon as possible, because I know every nation, every unit, and everywhere that has fighter aircraft uh, does things differently, so I want to see how that, um, and take the way that, maybe apply it back home if it's just as effective or if not better than what we take. Uh, but it's all a learning opportunity here at this exercise, so uh, going forward we're just going to adapt if we need to and uh, just take away whatever they throw at us and uh, whatever they try to teach us. We're always open to learn new things. Uh, when people hear, hey, you're a tactical aircraft maintainer, it's not what much people want to hear until they actually get out there. And it's just a satisfaction of the job from getting a broke jet, fixing it, watching it fly is just the best feeling in the world. And not many people can feel that. So I think that it was a blessing that I got this job and I was able to travel to places that not most people can go to. For example, this Columbia. And I feel like Colombia, like not many people get to go to Colombia and not many people get to even have this conversation that I'm having now. So I think this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that I love to be here during this exercise, show them what we know, take away from what they, how they do things. And I think it's gonna be a great experience. I'm already loving Colombia. The food's great, the people are awesome. And I feel like it's gonna be a great time. Everybody's gonna do something different and they are going to come over here and watch us maintain the F-16s, put up air power, and I feel like it's going to be a great opportunity for the both of us as, let's say, they see me doing something and they say, hey, have you tried ever looking at it like this? Or, hey, have you tried ever doing it like that? And I feel like it'll be a great opportunity for the both of us. I feel like it's important that I'm here to help the mission go smooth, translate when I need to, and uh, just be able to be that bridge from the U.S. Air Force and the Colombian Air Force and just be there to uh, make that connection and it's, uh, it feels amazing to be here. Uh, just to, I feel at home, I feel like I'm back in Puerto Rico. Uh, they treat me, they greeted us with open arms. Uh, my family is very excited because now they only talking to me in Spanish. They're like, well, you're in Colombia, so you gotta, you gotta sharpen your knife, so. It's just, it's an honor to be here. And just for me to be here, it helps with me communicating back home as well. Cause uh, that bridge of Spanish and English is a barrier I face every day when contacting a uh, side of my family. Cause they don't speak English as well.